Hey there, fight fans. It's John Pollock with you for another exciting edition of Fight News Now. Extras Robin Black and I are chatting about Mayweather versus Canelo from this past weekend. The Pitbull still has some bite left, and Andy certainly isn't going to sour over his K1 performance this past weekend. The biggest fight of the year went down on Saturday night from a sold-out MGM Grand Garden Arena with millions watching on pay-per-view as Floyd Mayweather Jr. may have become the first fighter to cruise to a majority decision victory as he toppled Saul Canelo Alvarez. Two judges scored the fight for Mayweather, while Judge C.J. Ross ruled it a draw at 114 apiece, and I can only hope that she doesn't have access to the internet or any other forms of media for the reaction. K1 World Max went down on Saturday from Mallorca, Spain with the final 16 of their 70 kilogram tournament, which ran right here on Fight Network. Among the eight fighters advancing were Andy Sauer, who had an exciting unanimous decision victory over Yasuhiro Kido, as well as Canadian fighter Shane Campbell, who got past Wallace Lopez with a first round knockout. Full results are up at fightnetwork.com. And Andre Arlovsky returned to the winner's column on Saturday night, getting past Mike Kyle in the main event of Saturday's World Series of Fighting Five card in Atlantic City with 29-28 scorecards from all three judges. The card also saw Dave Branch control Danilo Villafort for three rounds. And one of the year's most visually impressive knockouts saw Derek Meeman send Hollis Gracie into another planet, which will be immortalized in GIF format for the rest of time. And we are here with Robin Black coming off a very, very busy weekend in boxing and mixed martial arts. First of all, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Saul Canelo Alvarez. Um, it seems more discussion is coming out of one C.J. Ross, who has now, I think, become, uh, to many people, the most hated judge in boxing or any other combat sport that involves numbers to assess a performance. Scoring this one a draw, and Keith Kaiser of the Nevada State Athletic Commission defending C.J. Ross, saying... A fight can be close, or it can't, and numbers don't always reflect that. Yeah, I mean, hey, if you're gonna, if we're gonna use this system, which has people looking at stuff and making a decision of what they think happened, who they think won, we're gonna use that. We're gonna also sometimes use people that are either a little dumb or drunk that day or weren't paying attention or just kind of see something different than us. Anybody who watched that fight, anybody <laughs> except for CJ knows that Floyd Mayweather won that fight. Maybe uh, Alvarez won the 11th, you know, maybe one or two others, depending. But there's no way that that was, uh, that was a draw. Hard to That's justify crazy. six rounds for Canelo yeah. with even the most optimistic Saul Canelo Alvarez supporter. Yeah, it's true. You know, but there's other things at play here as well now. Never mind the fact that we're all, we all already knew judges kind of were unreliable, to say the least. But now we've got to kind of look at things and go, well... Do we have to also not trust promoters anymore? I know promoters' gig is tell you that this fight is going to be close. And their gig, what I really like about the way that, uh, that De La Hoya approaches it and the way that, that all, you know, the, the group around this approach it, is get the media to believe that this is going to be close so that we look dumb and we tell people, hey, this will be close. Not a lot of people here bought that. I, I like to think we're doing things a little deeper. And Corey Erdman is a top flight boxing analyst. But there was media all over the world saying this was going to be a very close fight. One last thing just on the judging because it's something that always comes up within mixed martial arts that we discuss quite a lot. Is it something that... It, is it as big a problem as we make it? Because when there's a bad decision, we really spotlight it. And then you'll see numerous decisions go by where you don't bat an eye. And it's the right person wins. Maybe you disagree with a round here or a round there. But unless it's an egregious scorecard, it doesn't really raise people up in arms. Are these, you know, just anomalies that are going to happen when you have humans here assessing a performance here? I mean, you can't computerize this. It's, it's very much left up to the interpretation. Yeah, there's going to be some of that. The problem is, you know, if we assume let's say that there's 40 territories they're using some judges there's six or eight judges in each that's 120 150 judges I don't know 15 guys who are qualified to judge MMA as somebody who watches it obsessively you know studies uh, the what Big John has laid out you know like talk to people you know like look even people who watch it anecdotally and uh, watch judges I mean we know that there aren't 150 people who are qualified to judge this some of them don't even know really the difference between you know a light leg kick and a medium leg kick a significant punch and a punch that glances off your head and some don't know what some of the submissions are they don't know when a guy's in danger there just aren't enough good people that changes very slowly maybe some ex-fighters get into there some ex-coaches some ex-people who have spent their life in MMA but it's gonna take a long time and right now there's some dummies
Leg kicks do not end fights. My favorite quote in the history of mixed martial arts. One story coming out of this past weekend uh, involved the World Series of Fighting. Of course, uh, we mentioned the results there. We didn't have a result for one of the middleweight uh, fi uh, semifinals involving Jesse Taylor and Elvis Mutopcic because this fight we never went down on Saturday night in Atlantic City because someone in the, with the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board spotted, allegedly spotted Mutopcic taking a pill backstage that was not cleared. Mutopcic came back saying, that was not me that took this pill. It was my manager who has a heart condition. Mutopcic, to his credit, ran to a local medical facility, had a drug test taken of all the drugs that would have been examined for, came back negative. Um, both fighters have at least been, been paid now by the State Athletic Commission, and obviously a hearing is going to have to take place here. But it just seems World Series of Fighting, it's just like they just find these controversies, yeah. whether it, the night before hearing their cage might not meet regulations, yeah. uh, guys wearing UFC gloves during fights. just seems there's always something there for the, for the underground to just jump yeah. upon these weird stories that could only happen to this promotion, it seems. Well, the thing is that there, what you do when you're putting on a giant, like, you know, uh, show with a million moving parts, whether that thing is a hip hop concert or a fight, there's a million things that can go wrong and many of them will go wrong. And you don't hear about them a lot in the UFC. And you don't hear about them a lot in Bellator. You don't hear about them in elite, you know, giant concert tours because they've got used to them and they have preparations to make sure they don't happen. It's smaller, newer shows that it happens on. But this guy, I mean, Elvis Presley liked to take pills. I mean, it sort of kind of makes sense. <laughs> but when you look at it, did he take any pills? Did his manager take pills? Did the, Was he subject to yeah, commission testing? Exactly, well, no. But uh, he died on the throne. So uh, Two but different Elvises. Two different Elvises, totally. But you look at, did the commissioner see something wrong? Did he report something wrong? Did he overdo it? You got a bunch of humans doing things that humans do, and humans make mistakes. So who the hell knows what happened with that one? We have here at Fight Network contacted the commission down in New Jersey. They have yet to get back to us, but I'm sure they are going to have to release a statement regarding what is going on with the very bizarre situation. Right now, though, we have more of Fight News Now Extra.